Hello, my name is Rick Sagiedin, and welcome to Klahauja, a program sponsored by the Vernon Friendship Center, located at 2902 29th Avenue. On our program today, we have Don Bernstick, who is representing the Four Worlds Development Project, and it's under the Faculty of Education for the University of Lethbridge. Also today, we have Terry Harris, who is the Klahauja Production Manager, and a special guest all the way from the North Pole, Santa Claus, will be here today. Uh, at the end of the program, we'll have a chance to make our annual Christmas wishes from the Kahaya television crew. But right now, I'd like to introduce Don Bernstein. Hi. Welcome to Kahaya. It's good to be back. Yes, uh, it was about a year ago that we had you on the program, and we talked a little bit about the spirit of the rainbow. Yes. And now you're presently involved with the Faculty of Education in the University of Lethbridge. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Um, well, the spirit of the rainbow uh, program was, was developed by myself and, and Fred Anderson. And it was uh, basically we we saw a lot of youth needs not being met, mm -hmm. and uh, and we feel that uh, as youth ourselves we decided to put put something together, and we had a lot of support because we were working at Round Lake at the time. Uh, we were taking a counseling training program, and that was during the weekend. On weekends, we'd go out and do workshops, mm -hmm. uh, and that went on through through the spring of um, spring of eighty. Five, I think, and and um, anyway, uh, we went to Alkali Lake for the conference, and we were asked to do a presentation there. Uh, the people at Four Worlds were there, and and they liked what we did, and they asked us if we wanted to be a part of uh, of what they're what they're striving for, and um, basically what 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 they're striving for is to to sober up Native communities by the year 2000, mm -hmm. and 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 the way we do this is by holistic development uh, at, at the community level and in, in, in within the community as well in the schools. You're representing the Four Worlds project, development project, and you are looking for possible facilitators. Yes. Facilitators. Yes, uh, because I and Fred are basically uh, the only two young people we know of in, in, in North America that are doing this type of work. Uh, and holistic development and, and peer counseling mm -hmm. and, and the development of role models, and uh, it's 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 moving fast, moving very rapidly, and and in just one year we expanded throughout mm -hmm. the, the North American continent, and uh, there's there's just two of us and we can't do it alone. <laughs> we have no intention of doing it alone, and uh, we're, we're getting we're getting funding and mm -hmm. uh, we're putting together a really good program at the University of Lethbridge to start training other young people to do what we're doing. I see. So you're, you're looking for inexperience. You don't need experience in order to, to be involved with All you need is this. drive. Drive? Drive. That's mm -hmm. all you need. Uh, the, the, the volition and the will. But of course you, need, you have a very strict guideline and limitations. Yes. Uh, of, of course you got to have complete abstinence from alcohol and drugs, uh, cigarette smoking, junk food, you know, and because we're trying to de develop role models, the best role models that we can possibly be, and the only way I can develop role models is if I develop myself as a role model, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I still have a lot of flaws, but not as much as I used to, and and uh, that's one of the things that, 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 that I feel good about, is that development that I've, I've uh, gradually progressed within within this year. You know, so, so many good things have, have <clears throat> and so many doors have opened in this past year that uh, I never realized, mm -hmm. and as Alan, Alan Morris says, uh, if you have a need to dream, you have a need to succeed. Mm -hmm. I really believe that, you know, because right. my, the the dreams and goals I set down for myself a year, a year and a half ago when I first sobered up, uh, today I'm I'm just far far exceeding those those goals. You know, mm -hmm. I never dreamed that this would be happening. All I wanted to do was straighten up my life and quit feeling so shitty. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's what I wanted to do, and. Uh, and here now I'm doing this, working at the University of Lethbridge, I'm traveling all over North America. That's I'm going right. on a world tour pretty soon. Sounds a lot of positive things happening in your life. Yes, a lot of positive things. Uh, the negative things are still there, but I try not to dwell on them as much. The hard times and uh, the, the, the downers, I guess you'd call them, the, they're still there, but uh, the good outweighs the bad, you know. And I gotta look to the good, because if, if I just keep dwelling on the negative, then I'm not gonna get anywhere. Mm -hmm. And if, if I did that, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So they can get the information about the Four Worlds Development Project uh, through the Spirit of the Rainbow? Yes. And I have here a, a folder, um, catalog or a brochure? Yeah, a brochure. Right. Um, we, are, we are starting to train, train the, the young facilitators, the young candidates for the Spirit of the Rainbow uh, 
facilitation uh, in February, late February, and also in the summer, we're, we're having a big summer program. Mm -hmm. What we do is, like we've been to communities all over um, Western North America, all over West and as far East as, uh, as New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. And every community that we've been to, we leave a group called the Spirit of the Rainbow Youth Group. And there's a big conference we are planning uh, in July in Northern Alberta. It's the Spirit of the Rainbow Youth Conference. And each one of them communities are gonna bring delegates from their own community. And we're gonna bring all the youth that we've worked with in this past year, year and a half, to one place, one time. So that sort of gives you an opportunity to do a follow-up and yes. to see how you have affected that community, youth in that community, towards uh, yes. motivations and the different leadership the styles that you're trying to we're all, Yeah, we're, we're, we're also trying to connect them by, by newsletters, also uh, pen pals and computers, mm -hmm. with the use of computers. Uh, we, we, we have a newsletter coming out uh, at the end of next month, and in the back of the newsletter we'll have all the addresses of all the Spirit of the Rainbow Youth Groups and names and ages. So say, say you, you wanted to be part of Spirit of the Rainbow Youth Group, you, you'd put your name in the back, mm -hmm. and then somebody somewhere in North America would write to you, and, and, and that'd be your pin pal. And then that, that peer support is there also. You know? Where are some of the areas that you went, uh, done your workshops, done presentations in North America? Um, Alaska, Yukon, Northwest Territories, um, New Brunswick, uh, Quebec, Toronto, uh, Vancouver, all over BC, all over Alberta, Montana, and we're going on Oregon, and we're, we're starting to branch out into the states. Uh, the, the, this thing is, is, is a success because uh, I feel that uh, most of the people that are, well, all, all leaders in Native communities are starting to look to the young people. Mm -hmm. Because this is where it's at, because think of, think of yourself 30 years from now, you know, and, and, and think of the youth 30 years from now. Who are you going to depend on? Mm -hmm. and, and that's our goal. Uh, our, uh, we, we've worked with, say, 2,000 youth since in, in, in this past eight months. And our goal is to work with 100,000 youth. And we're trying to develop Spirit of the Rainbow Warriors to, to, to all strive for the same thing. And if we can get 100,000 young youth role models uh, striving for sobriety and healthy communities, then we're, we're we're going places, and then that's the first the first couple steps in in, in uh, completing our goal with the Four Walls Development Project, and and, and and sobering up Native communities by the year 2000, eliminating alcohol mm -hmm. and drug abuse, and, and and all the pain that alcohol and drug abuse brings into our communities by the year 2000, because mm -hmm. we can't sober up communities no way we can. They got to sober up themselves, but we can help eliminate it from from our lifestyles. Now the workshops that you put on, how extensive are they? How long? And they they, they range from three days to two weeks, two weeks. and uh, the, the two-week ones we prefer because we're right into the, right in the community. When we were up in Mayo, Yukon, the workshops went about 18 hours a day, and they were, they were very intensive. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was really quite exciting up there because they just opened up a youth elder center up in Mayo, Yukon, and the, it, it's, it, it gives the youth a chance to look to the elders, mm -hmm. and, and they can bridge that gap together. And as when, when, they, when those two start working together, then the adults will slowly come in. Because uh, the youth and the, and, and the elders are so closely related, and they have a lot of common bonds, you know. The youth really respect the elders, and the elders really need the youth, and they want to they wanna give them that guidance. And somewhere along the line is the adults, <clears throat> somewhere along the line, and, and, and it, it's coming together. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, looked, we looked at that community as a role model community for youth development, because they really come along. You have a message here that maybe you'd like to read to your brother. It says brothers and sisters. And yes. I think that's really inspirational. This is our opening letter. It says, brothers and sisters, Mother Earth is hurting. It is, it is the responsibility of our generation to respect Mother Earth and unite, all, and unite brothers and sisters of all nations. This is a great time. This is a time of great healing throughout Indian country. As youth, we are the prime motivators of this healing and hope for our future. Once we as youth have the opportunity to come together, we can plant and nurture the wisdom of our elders. With your help, brothers and sisters, Mother Earth will once again flourish. The, the reason why we call this Spirit of the Rainbow is because we don't just want to gear this to Native communities or, or Native people. Spirit of the Rainbow ma means all colors, and all colors means, means all nations. And in, in the summer and training we'll be having, we'll be having uh, representatives from the Black Nation, White Nation, Red Nation, and Yellow Nation, because uh, we, we believe to develop the human family, we don't we don't just put our emphasis on on, on the red nation. It's got to be in all nations to develop the human family. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that's one of the things that we are uh, 
we are, we are striving for. We always got to keep in mind of, 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 of our ultimate goal, but also to get to that goal, we got to have short-term goals. And my short-term goals are my own personal development because I find the more I can help myself and deal with my, my personal situations and my problems, then the more effect I have on other people. Mm -hmm. When I first started working on youth development, it was, uh, it was about five years ago. And uh, I was so messed up, you know. I, I, I had the drive and I had the will. I really wanted to do this really bad. But I was so messed up in alcohol and drug abuse and, and relationships and all this kind of, you know, all these other distractions. I just, and, and I couldn't focus my attention on youth development and it made my work very uh, ineffective. I wasn't very effective in my, uh, in my work. So I had to stop, put that aside and take a look at my own personal life. And, and, and that's why Vernon means, uh, I guess it holds a, a special place in my heart because this is where I sobered up and this is where I got my start in, in Vernon, BC and, and there, there's a lot of good people here and I'll always come back to visit, to, to visit and to, uh, to keep, keep in touch with the elders and, and, and the good friends uh, I have here, like in, in Round Lake. Round Lake is where I got started as a client and then later on I worked there and then this is where Spirit Rainbow developed. Mm -hmm. Another gentleman that developed with you is Fred Anderson. We yes. couldn't have him on the studio today but uh, maybe you can give us uh, a little bit of information on how Fred is doing? Uh, well, Iron Fred, we went through a lot. You know, uh, uh, when Iron Fred first met uh, about two years ago, uh, we clashed, our heads banged. We didn't like each other very much. It's because we were so much alike. Uh, within this past two years, Iron, Iron Fred have went through a lot. I've seen him go through, through a lot of uh, heartache and pain, and he's seen me go through a lot of heartache and pain. But w w we've learned how to support each other in, in and by, by supporting each other is, is the only way we can reach our goal. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have our differences, but uh, we overlook those differences and we try not to let it stop us. Uh, I, I respect him and I respect his space and he respects mine. And, and we, we keep that communication open and, and, and that's the only way we, we can stay together and work together. And also very good friends. He's, mm -hmm. um, he's a very close friend and he's a good brother to me. And uh, he's a very important person in my, in my development, in my growth, and he's one of the keys to the Spirit of the Rainbow That's right. mm -hmm. workshop, because if it was not for him, I don't know if it would ever get going, because I wouldn't have the, the support that, that he gives me. I've, I've, I've never experienced support like I, I get from him. Like, he tells me how it is. He tells it straight, straight out to me. No beating around the bush, and sometimes I don't like it, but it's true, you know, the things he tells me, and he, uh, he keeps me in line, I keep him in line, and it's like we're two two young warriors going out to battle, eh? and we're we're battling against all these things because there's a lot of things out there that can hurt us. And I watch his back, and he watches mine. Mm -hmm. And and we work together. You know, sometimes he falls down, and I I help him up, and sometimes I fall down, and he helps me up. But uh, we keep working together, and also we have we have our grandfathers and our grandmothers watching us. You know, it's like they're like the mountains. Whenever we turn. They're always there, and we know they're there, and, and 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 the support is there. And also, we have a lot of a lot of other loving and caring people supporting us, mm -hmm. and the things we're doing. Well, it really sounds like the spirit of the rainbow is well underway. It's a holistic development program for young adults. I really, uh, really positive. I really think positive about this program, and of course, the Four Worlds Development Project, uh, which is happening in the University of Lethbridge. Mm -hmm. For more information, I guess we can have some information at the Vernon Friendship Center. Mm -hmm. After the program, you can leave me some information where we can get a hold of you if there's any interested youths mm -hmm. who are willing to go through the training and mm -hmm. under some strict limitations and mm -hmm. guidelines which has to, to be followed through. And uh, I hope that we can get some more people from Vernon or other areas in the Okanagan to take part in this Four Worlds Development Project. Mm -hmm. It sounds really positive. One of the one of the people that we've uh, kind of centered out in, in this past year when we were living here was Frank Marchand, and he's come a long ways. And he's one of the people we're going to train. We, we're also looking for females because we, 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 need the fem we need the females as much as we need, we need the males. It's like a sacred eagle. One way represents man, the other is woman. And the only way this program can soar is if we have equal, equal amount of power from the woman as much as the men, and that's the only way we can soar. And then uh, we're looking for, for strong young young girl role models, female role models, and, uh, and it'll happen, mm -hmm. and it'll happen. We've got to keep in mind of our goal and keep working for it. 
even if, even if you don't have the confidence right at this moment to go ahead and be a, a facilitator, take the sort of take charge type mm -hmm. person and do your uh, do your presentations. Uh, that's what the training is all about. Yes. I well, think, uh, when three years ago when I was walking on Skid Row, I didn't think I could be doing this. You know, so it's 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 not uh, like right right now you got to be sober and you got to do this and you got to do that and you got to be able to get in front of a bunch of people. We're not going to ask you to do that. We just want to see if you're willing and if you're willing and and you want to make some sacrifices, and then it's there for you. Mm -hmm. It's there for you. Like, like, the only thing I wanted to do was sober up and straighten out my life, and all this has happened. And that's all we want, we, we're looking for, is young people who want to help themselves. In order to help other people, you have to help yourself first. It's the most important thing. That's right. And uh, if you want more information about the four, Spirit of the Rainbow and the Four Worlds Development Project, contact the University of Lethbridge, 4401 University Drive, Lethbridge, Alberta, zip code T1K3M4, and we have a telephone number at the Friendship Center if you want to get some information through one of the, right. through either Don or Fred. Right. Right. And I really want to thank you very much for taking the time to come on Klahavi and keep us up to date about the progress of Spirit of the Rainbow and the Four Worlds Development Project. Sure well. And uh, Merry Christmas to you. Yes, thank you. Merry Christmas. Okay. And, Merry Christmas. Uh, <laughs> We'll be back with uh, Terry Harris. You're now at your final training, final month of training for your Klahalia video production. How's That's it going? Oh, it's going great, Rick. Uh, we've been going, uh, this will be our 11th month, I think, since we started. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been quite good. I, I've uh, personally come in a long way in terms of uh, understanding and knowing how to produce a video. In fact, I've just this week finished up my uh, Native Business Summit highlights, mm -hmm. uh, which I'm pretty excited about. And it was a lot of hard work getting it together. And uh, I see now that just because I finished it doesn't mean I'm done with the project. Now I have to sell it. And so that's uh, also going to be an exciting part because uh, I think it's valuable and I think it's going to sell pretty big. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us about the Native Business Summit. Where was it? In Toronto. And the, the week of June 23rd of this last summer was uh, the Native Business Summit and um, trade show and exhibition. And that was where. Um, I, over 125 um, Indian businesses purchased uh, booth space at this place and presented what they did, mm -hmm. their wares, and uh, there were workshops on marketing skills and, and potential markets and uh, and uh, w developing skills. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, during the Native Business Summit, there were some key speakers that you've got on your video. Well, the ones that I featured on the video uh, were um, or are. Tony uh, Bellacourt, who was the, one of the uh, founding chair people and the producer of it, and he's uh, quite a dynamic person, as well as uh, Roy Lewis, who is the chairman of the board of the Peace Hills Trust in uh, wherever it is, <laughs> in Manitoba, I think, something like that. And uh, Billy Diamond, Chief Billy Diamond, who is the Grand Chief of the uh, Grand Council of the Cree of Quebec. Mm -hmm. And he was, uh, gave probably the most uh, insightful uh, address that, that of all of them, I think. He talked about the progress that has happened in the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the most uh, strongest statements, I think, that he says in his speech is that 10 years ago, the Native Business Summit wouldn't have happened, which is true. Mm -hmm. And so there's been some real rapid progress mm -hmm. in the last decade with uh, Indians and the the financial world in Canada. Mm -hmm. Okay, Klahavi VD production is on its final training month, and it, is it going to go on after that? Well, I think so. I know that I'm going to go on, and I think uh, I will still be with Klahavi, mm -hmm. so I'm sure it will be. I have actually five or six projects that I have in mind now that I will, I'm just in the process of uh, lining up to start. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm looking forward to a real busy 1987, and uh, <laughs> we will be employing more and more people as time goes by. And uh, we also want to uh, really make the most of the local market too, which there's quite a strong market for. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the Kalaya video production, it's, uh, it started off just last year as a training program, uh, which hopefully in 87 it'll develop into an uh, economic development business. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe being involved in that Native Business Summit, maybe you've got some pointers on some of the techniques on how to get there, how to accomplish your goals. I uh, got some important pointers and I also uh, had some wonderful contacts and conversations with other video people that are doing it, mm -hmm. and they all encouraged me absolutely to go ahead with mm -hmm. this. And uh, it was a real turning point for me, I think, in this whole experience because I, I saw that I 
truly could produce a video. You know, I was, I was a little bit afraid that I might not be able to, but uh, coming, back, coming back from there, I saw other successful Indians, mm -hmm. and I knew that I, too, could be a success. One of, the, one of the experiences you had during your training program was to be able to travel around all over British Columbia and Canada uh -huh. and meet, make some new contacts and uh, develop relationships over business business relationships, and uh, mm -hmm. I think that's going to help out in the progress of uh, Kahalia. Well, absolutely. Um, I was somehow magnetized to the right contacts all year, mm -hmm. and it uh, seems like the important people I met, I just met last year, I will be working with in this next mm -hmm. year, so that's really neat. Well, let's get a final comment on how do you see Kahalia video production or the native communications progress in 87? Well, I think we'll be making a whole lot more videos as I say, locally and the uh, larger market videos that I talked about earlier. <clears throat> and um, I think I'm anticipating national recognition as a video production company, mm -hmm. which I'm really excited about. And, um, well, for, I'm optimistic. <laughs> for people interested, contact uh, Klahalia Video Productions at 542-6410. Terry Harris will be there to answer any information about the, the business or maybe volunteers, mm -hmm. freelancers, all mm -hmm. that sort of getting involved with some of the production. We will need help mm -hmm. and we and I'm asking for the support of those people that are interested in uh, helping with the video production to get in touch with me and we'll see what we can work out because uh, we will require a lot of help in 87. Thank you once again Terry. Sure Rick. And now it's time to bring on our special guest from the North Pole, the one and only Santa Claus. Hey. Welcome to Klahalia. I really appreciate you taking the time. I know I had to pull some strings to get you down here in the studio. I know you're a very bu busy man. How was the trip down from the North Pole? Well, besides Blizzard and the uh, pack Eskimos who we dropped off some early presents to because they're walrus hunting on the ice. <laughs> they couldn't make it back in time for their Christmas tree and stuff, eh? So, uh -huh. well, what the heck. That's what Merry Christmas is all about. By the way, Merry Christmas, Rick. Merry Christmas to you, too. And of course, uh, uh, you had a little bit of problems with your reindeers on the way here. Oh, yes. Dancer kept, uh, kept pulling the lead kind of from Prancer, eh? And <laughs> big foul up there. But uh, I see Rudolph, it. of course, was in Rudolph. the lead, so he saved the day. Good, good. Took us through that blizzard. It was tough, I tell you. I see. So um, you've got a lot of Christmas parties, children's Christmas parties to visit. Uh, do you have any stops before you make it to the Friendship Center Christmas party this year? Well, I'm going down Malibu. You know, it's Christmas down there too without the snow. So, mm -hmm. stopping my reindeer off at uh, Oregon and taking a, I don't know, <laughs> go down to California, I guess, instead of reindeer. I'm going to try skateboard. How are the kids been this year overall? Oh, they've been good. I've been hearing nothing but good reports for them. Mm -hmm. And I'm quite, that makes me happy. The elves love it too. They don't mind putting in the extra work to make those presents. As long as the kids are good, it makes them feel good making them. They love it. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy bringing it to kids who are good. Great. Uh, now, you are on your way to California just before the Friendship Center Children's Christmas Party. Um, uh, you're going to be trying to get a, pick up a tan or just to uh, yeah. get a little darker for the Christmas party? Well. <laughs> I mean, when you're in California, what else is there to That's do? Right. Pick up a town, eh? <laughs> I guess they love it at the North Pole, eh? Sit around and we talk Christmas gifts and stuff, and they say, uh, Santa, I like that town. <laughs> <laughs> Makes for good conversation, eh? Well, I, I see you've got your uh, red sock with you. Um, oh, yes, yes. I was wondering when you get to this. Yes, I was waiting. Uh, I, I, I made a, a little letter. Did you get it? Yes, about those broken roller skates of yours? <laughs> yes. You must be more careful trying to break down some roller skates, really. <laughs> but hey, don't worry. Yes. A little special prize for you under the Christmas tree. Not only the roller skates, but how to use them properly. Hey. <laughs> Instructions. Well. Great. I'm looking forward to this. Every year, I always look forward to having Santa Claus on Kahalia so that we can. I always look forward to coming here on uh, Kahalia. Who's, who's getting that big one? Well, this is for Terry. Terry, you're going to love this one. I heard what you wrote to me, and believe me, this is it. Oh, I'll give this to Terry. He's working camera number two over there. So, Terry, a Merry Christmas for Terry. you. Hey, hey, no cheating. Come on, that's still <laughs> Christmas. And, of course, Kim. Haha. <laughs> I heard from you, too, in your letters, and guess what's in here? <laughs> leave you wondering. 
I went by the Dot Jewelry Store. Uh, I won't go any farther. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is for Kim, okay? Anything Merry else? Merry Christmas, Kim. And... Poor Rennie. Oh, no. <laughs> Aha! Uh, so I was trying. <laughs> Rennie, were you looking through this bag earlier? Have you seen your name on this? Good try, but uh, don't open till Christmas. You'll okay. love this one. This Next time Rennie. you pull that trick, though. <laughs> You'll love it. Merry Christmas, Rennie. And Rick. All right. This is the roller skates? <laughs> this is the, the instruction. This is the instruction book. Oh, good. You must learn to walk before you can run. You know what they say. <laughs> You'll love this book. You'll love it. Great. Well, Santa, I hope you can uh, stick around just for a little bit. I would like to take the opportunity right now to make our Christmas Kahawia Television Christmas wishes to the community of Vernon and give special thanks to some of the people that assisted the Friendship Center and helped to make it another successful 86th year. We'd like to start off by telling this, um, wishing a Merry Christmas to the Vercom, Cable 10 staff, Jamie Patterson and Rennie Siriani especially. And of course, also a special thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Gordon and Margaret Anderson for their Christmas annual donations. Thank you once again. And of course, the Board of Directors of the United Native Nations Friendship Center for another successful 86, David Tanner, President, Lester Williams, Vice President, Mona Williams, Secretary, Leonard Tanner, board member, Geraldine Schroeder, Barb Marchand, Kathy Garverson, and John Spotted Eagle, all board members. And now the staff of the Friendship Center, Merry Christmas, Bertha Phelan, Executive Director, Office Manager, Secretary, Val Brewer, Bookkeeper, Linda Ferguson, and of course, Thelma Lafleur. Native Court Workers and Counseling Association, Tina Marie Christian, Native Court Worker, Alcohol and Drug Counselor, Wally Lewis, and Robin Thornton, Lahaya Beauty Productions, Tom Smith, and of course, Terry Harris. And now we'd like to pay tribute to all the volunteers that took part in the Friendship Center. We have four levels of volunteer at the Friendship Center. Level one is up to 100 hours. Level two is 101 to 300 hours. Level three, 301 to 500 hours. And level four, 500 hours and more. So we've got level one, Lane Brewer, Liana Bono, Phil Earl, Cheryl Abercrombie, Ivan Brewer, Mark Oppenheimer, Thomas LaRue, Leonard Prosper. Level 2, Martin Wilson, Terry Harris, Robert Louie, Sean Allison, David Duteau, Mona Williams, Kathy Garverson, and Tina Marie Christian. Level 3, Lester Williams, Barb Marchand, and Wally Lewis. And of course, Level 4, John Spotted Eagle, Geraldine Schroeder, Tracy Bono, David Tanner, Leonard Tanner, and of course, Kim Patton. Thank you very much for all the help in 1986. We really appreciate it. And of course, thank you, the viewers, for watching Klahalia for another season, 1986. And of course, Santa Claus. I have one more announcement. One more announcement. All you kids, I'd like to see you today at the Friendship Center at that party. I'll be there with presents for you. So be there and come and see Santa. He loves seeing you kids. Once again, I'd like to wish Everyone, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This is Rick Sagiadin saying so long for now.